everybody, DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Super Bills, baby. It's Five Super Bills. Today we've got 11 PC mods in testing, no console mods in testing. Look at those eight mods were released today. It's Fact Sheet Friday. Giants have updated the Farm Sim 22 website. If you haven't entered my Xbox giveaway, what are you doing? Custom modding show a new feature coming with their Landall Hall Wall. FS modding's new GNU 800s in game. Also, FS shows off a new self propelled sprayer. JHHG modding talks about a new feature coming with their John Deere DB planters. Agrimods made an announcement about their Agronopolis update from today. Plus, it's not Farm Sim Show Day, but we're going to talk about next week's episode. Let's check it out. It's SD4 PC. We have the GT16 2000 GR Bell Fork, Herculano T2 ET, Hoff Talbauer, Jatoba Farm, JCB TM 320E, Lizard Agri 13, Lizard Deep Sub 3500, Manure Spills, Polish Dealer Sticker Pack, Snowplows for Wheel Loaders and Front Loaders, and the Versatile Four Wheel Drive Tractors. With all that being said, we still have seven mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, eight new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub. I've already made a video showing those off and you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Today is Fact Sheet Friday and that means we've got four new pieces of equipment to show off to you guys. The Prenneth Raptor 300 Mulching Carrier and the Prenneth M650 Mulcher, the Ponzi Cobra Tree Harvester, the New Holland TA Genesis Series and the Heizomat HM8400 KLC, and the Gens HEM922 DQ Cobra Hybrid Winch. Chipper. I released the fact sheet video earlier this morning, so if you're curious about these, make sure you check that video out after the news bit. And since it's Friday, Giants have also updated the Farming Simulator 22 website with new vehicles, harvesters, and equipment coming to Farming Simulator 22. I'm going to be putting together a video on this stuff, hopefully this weekend. I know it's really hard to make an actual professional level video just showing off a website, but we'll try and get one done for you guys. I am out of town starting today, uh, but I'll do what I can to get something recorded for you guys before I leave. In the meantime, if you guys want to check out the link below beside FS22 website, you can check it out for yourself. And if you're in the United States, make sure you don't forget to enter the Xbox giveaway. I'm giving away three Xbox Series S consoles, and each one comes with a $100 Xbox card and one month of Xbox. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which includes not only Xbox Game Pass, but also Xbox Live, so that you can download some other free games and play with your friends. These giveaways are only open to the people in the continental United States, and I will not be shipping outside the lower 48. I will be doing worldwide giveaways in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, get your entry in for the Xbox giveaway. I'll be choosing three winners and announcing them next Friday, right here on Farm Sim News. Making our way into modern news today, we're going to start with Custom Modding, who say that their Landau Hall All Series trailer has received the oversized warning signs with the same animations as their Dimco 22 series, which is really cool, by the way. They say they're very close close and to stay tuned for more. Remember that this mod is not only coming to Farm Sim 19, but FS22 and ATS as well. And I know this is one of the most anticipated trailers and mods for Farm Sim 19's lifespan, so don't worry, I'll be updating you guys once more information is released, because guess what? I can't wait for this too. Let's go. FS Modding shows us some new screenshots today of their Lizard GNU 800 series in-game work of the fields next to their GNU 700 tracked version. Here we get to see it with massive duels, and I would imagine it's going to rival the size of the New Holland T9 or Challenger MT900 in-game. This is a mod for all platforms and is still being worked on by the modder, at least at the time of recording this video. Pulse FS has posted a few teasers of a self-propelled sprayer that they are working on. He didn't say much in this or reveal any information, but it's really neat to see mods like this still being worked on so late in the Farming Simulator 19 life cycle. I love it! JHHG modding has revealed yet another feature coming with their John Deere TV planters, the Yetter 2967 Road Cleaners. JHHG had this to say, while our team is preparing new models and upgrades for our presently released mods for Farm Sim 22, we would like to share one more feature that's coming with FS19 with a few of the last released mods for you guys, mostly on the upcoming John Deere DB planters. And not only the extended PC version updates, new road cleaners configuration of the Yetter brand. These features are going to be new high quality with normal maps, the Digistar that we also talked about a few days ago, and of course, these Yetter row cleaners, the unpreferred seed conveyors, and more. Keep a lookout for these on Farm Sim News coming soon. The modder of one of the mod updates that was released today, Agronopolis, has released a statement of not only the changelog of that mod, but also something that you guys need to know about. Agrimod says that for players that want a better gameplay experience on the map, they recommend a new save game to use the update. However, it is not necessary for the majority of the changes to take place. So you can use the new save if you want or use your existing save, you'll get similar results. 
I always like letting you guys know when a map is released and you need a new save or not. But for this one, I guess the answer is it depends. And lastly today, there's not going to be any farm sim show today since I'm going out of town all weekend, but I want to let you guys know that FDR logging will be joining us next week to talk about logging in farm sim 22. If you have any questions for them, get ready. You can send those to me on Discord or post them down below. We'll ask FDR logging next week on Friday. I can't wait. And I couldn't wait to get to the end of this video. It's weekend vacation time. Let's go. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, it just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All that said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. I want to say thank you to everyone for the wishes for my grandfather yesterday. He did have a mild stroke, but he is doing okay today.